The image, in a black frame, white mat, shows a group of people of various ages standing together for a group photograph. The image shows the Halifax Bridge in the background, bright green against a beautiful blue sky. The people in the picture are all huddled together with big smiles in sunshine. There are members of reachability staff who have helped to coordinate a fun walk for the people in attendance. Two of the people are wearing high visibility jackets. Two people are wearing baseball caps. One black with a green brim, the other one crimson. Some people are wearing sunglasses to protect from the brilliant bright sunshine. Everyone has a smile on the face. The clouds are beautiful and the image shows friendship and support amongst those who attended the walk. A black frame holds a white mat and inside the white mat is a black and white image. The image shows the back of a lady with long grey hair with arms held up at the shoulders as if pointing to the sky. Music is playing and she's encapsulating how she can dance and move to the rhythm. In the background there are blurred images of five people, some dancing on their own, others together, all looking in a mirror to watch their footsteps move in time with the music. The lady in the foreground is completely lost in music, trying on new shoes that she purchased from the dance hall. She dances lightly, she dances gracefully, and is completely at ease. The image in a black frame and a white mat shows a coloured image of two people dancing as if in the pose of a waltz. The lead, a gentleman, has broad shoulders with a blue shirt with white stripes. He has grey hair and is taller than the lady who has her arms wrapped on his shoulder and held out hands together in front of them. The music has started and they're beginning to dance across the floor. The lady has a gentle touch on the gentleman's arm and shoulders. Her hair is long and grey and falls over her shoulder. Her eyes are closed as she gets in time with the music and tries to remember the steps she's been taught. In the background is a large mirror where blurred imagery of the other people attending the lesson you can see. Slowly but surely, the couple dance to the tune of the music. A black frame holds a white mat in which there's a coloured image of a lady having dance lessons. This lady, suntanned with a black bob haircut, is leaning slightly back from her partner, another lady, as they dance across the floor. The lady has a big, broad smile, enjoying the fact of her friendship and the music that's playing. She has half white rimmed glasses with black on the bottom, She's wearing a black top and her hands are placed on the shoulders of her partner. Behind is an empty dance floor with a speaker attached to the wall with wall decorations to add to the atmosphere of the dance hall. A black frame holds a white mat in which there's a colour photograph of used dancing shoes. The dancing shoes are many colours, silver, blue, orange and gold. They're neatly lined on a shelf, ready for someone to pick up and try on. People wishing to dance can come to the shoes, try on a pair and take them downstairs, and to whichever tune they choose, can dance to see if the shoes fit. This image portrays the fact that the shoes wait for somebody to show interest, but once interest is given, they then dance again. A black frame holds a white mat, inside which is a coloured image of a couple dancing to a waltz. The lady, with short hair, black cardigan and white top, has grasped her partner at the bicep and is holding his hand as in the waltz position and they're laughing together in unity as they move across the dance floor. The gentleman, also with a broad smile, has greying hair a blue shirt with white stripes, a watch, and is also enjoying his time to the music that is currently playing. In the background is another lady 
wearing a red shirt, who was also dancing to the same music in the dance hall. A black frame holds a white mat, inside which is a black and white photograph of a dance instructor with his partner as they show a group of people the different routines that are possible to the music that's playing. The gentleman who is leading the move is the owner of the dance hall. He's wearing a striped shirt, dark trousers and patent leather shoes. In the image of a waltz, his partner clasps his hands out in front and she has her hand on his shoulder. They are elegant and stylish. She in very high heel shoes with a short black dress and her hair up in a ponytail. In the background, members of the group are watching on as the two glide across the floor, enjoying demonstrating their skills to everyone present. A black frame holds a white mat, inside which is a coloured photograph of two people side by side dancing. The image is taken through a French door and the two are unaware of the picture being taken. One lady with short black hair and glasses in a black shirt, trousers and sneakers is in a waltz position with another lady with grey hair, a flowery top, light blue trousers and burke sandals. They are listening to the instruction and laughing as their confusion of which way to go, left or right, is making for a fun time. In the background is a large mirror that is reflecting the dance hall and where the other people will soon join in. A black frame holds a white mat, inside which is a colour photograph. On the photograph are two people. One an elderly lady in a straw hat with a pink face mask. She has a matching pink cardigan and a beautiful flowered shirt. With her arms bent at the elbows, her hands are held by another person, much younger, who is in a checkered blue shirt. She's wearing a watch. And in the picture, the camera is focused on the connection between the elderly lady and the younger lady. The elderly lady's hands show wrinkled skin, holding tightly and enjoying the support which allows her to dance to the music at Spencer House. A black frame holds a white mat, inside which is a colour photograph of two friends dancing. In the foreground, there is the back of a lady with a dark haircut in the shape of a bob. With a sleeveless shirt, her other friend has her arm on her waist. She's wearing a flowered jersey and has short grey hair. They are dancing like a waltz and the lady with the grey hair has her eyes closed, enjoying the music and enjoying the friendship as they move across the floor. A black frame holds a white mat, inside which is a colour photograph. In the photograph, is an elegant lady sitting at a table. She's slightly leaning forward with her elbow on the table, with her face and cheek resting on the fingers of her hand. She's wearing a blue woolly jumper. Her hair is golden and perfectly permed, and she's wearing a pearl stud in her right ear. She has blue rimmed glasses and is listening intently to the discussion at the table, ready to make comment when appropriate. This lady is called Mary and she became one of my fast friends. Always willing to listen, always with an opinion, but wanted to know all she could about how she could better herself, keep mobile and enjoy the services that reachability offer and what's out in the community. A black frame holds a white mat inside which is a black and white photograph of members of the reachability team and seniors that went for a walk on that day. The picture shows a heavily leafed, glady country walk on a sandy path. In the foreground, there is a gentleman striding out with a cane and baseball cap, followed by another person smiling at the camera, happy to be out in the fresh air. 
Behind is a member of the reachability team with a bobble hat and walking, enjoying the company of the seniors on such a lovely day. There are other members of the reachability team and two seniors with high-vis vests helping to guide people through the walk of Shannon Park. These people had a great time. We all got to know each other and the sunshine and weather was perfect for the views into the harbour and into the Bedford Basin. A black frame holds a white mat which holds a sepia coloured photograph which shows one of the Halifax bridges. In the foreground reachability staff and seniors on a walk stand by a railing that sweeps from right to left bending as if in unison with the bridge. The bridge stands majestic almost at cloud level as it stretches from the right to the left. The sepia colour of the image makes everything golden including the white truck that's going over the bridge. Everyone had a great day as a photographer to capture these people in such a beautiful place on a beautiful day was a privilege. A black frame holds a white mat inside which is a colour photograph. The photograph shows a lady facing the camera with a raised tambourine in her right hand. The lady has a green shirt, a white cardigan and then another slightly sporty jacket over her shoulders. She's sitting at a table in front of a window, staring at the camera with a cheeky smile. This lady was always one for comment, always had a request for a song and always wanted to take part. At the end of the session, it was very difficult to remove the tambourine because she continued to shake it just for the hell of it. After the session, she left Spencer House on a mobility scooter and was last seen waving as she disappeared up the street. A black frame holds a white mat, inside which is a colour photograph. The colour photograph is of a lady I like to call Tambourine Jean. The lady is sitting down with a pink fake flower in her hair. She's wearing glasses and a face mask over her nose and mouth. She has a bright red tambourine, which she shakes vigorously into the lens. She has a beige scarf around her neck and a deep purple cardigan as she's sitting at the table. Every time the music played, she rattled the tambourine, often requesting Elvis Presley, the Beatles or anything rock and roll. She's sitting next to the wall, very comfortable and really enjoyed the session. The black frame holds a white mat inside which is a blue sepia coloured photograph. The photograph is taken in a classroom and all the members are seated with their arms pointing to the ceiling. The instructor is seated with her feet slightly apart with a straight spine with her arms facing the ceiling to show the correct posture for exercising in a chair. The seniors present at the class are following suit, following her every move as she reaches for the sky. At the foreground is a gentleman in a checkered shirt with another lady wearing an apple watch, a black t-shirt and sneakers. Everybody is enjoying the lesson and it just showed how easy it was to stay fit and keep mobile even with something as simple as a chair. A black frame holds a white mat, inside which is a black and white photograph of a lady taking part in a fitness class. The lady is seated with a sports vest on. She has grey hair and her hands are placed together like a tranquility pose or maybe in prayer. Her eyes are closed as she focuses on the instructions of the instructor of the fitness class. This lady enjoyed every part of the exercise lessons, using the chair both seated and standing up, and was very praiseworthy at the end towards the instructor and everyone who joined in. A black frame holds a white mat 
inside which is a colour photograph. The colour photograph shows two people seated following an instructor as she offers details of how to perform a stretch while seated. In the foreground is a lady with a left arm stretched to the ceiling with grey hair with a black headband with her glasses around her neck hanging by a cord. She has a white t-shirt, sky blue shorts and sneakers on. She's listening in intently to the instructor. In the background, a member of the reachability staff are performing the same stretch, listening intently with their left arms bent up over their heads towards the sky. This lady really enjoyed this lesson. She has mobility issues and was worried that she couldn't perform the stretches or wouldn't be able to move around as freely as she wanted. After the session, she was very happy that now from home, she could stay seated and still keep her mobility and exercise as she wishes. A black frame holds a white mat, inside which is a black and white photograph. The black and white photograph shows a lady seated at a table, wearing a sports hoodie, holding a maraca. She's gazing intently into the lens of the camera, trying to smile and offering an insight into who she is and what she likes. This lady was sat in the middle of the room, listening intently to everything that was said and the music that was playing. Never really joined in until one song came on. Then she turned to the camera and gave a little smile. And as I knelt down just in front of her, she gave me a gaze that I'll remember forever. She only gently shook the maraca from side to side, but she knew she was part of something that everyone else was enjoying, and for her on that day, it was enough. A black frame, large format, holds a large white mat in which is a colour photograph. It's a close-up of an elderly lady with grey short hair, with a beaming smile. She's wearing a white striped shirt with a gold chain. She's looking intently across the room. On her lap she had a set of bongo drums which she enjoyed banging in time with the music depending on the request of the song. This lady listened intently to the music, to the direction of the music staff and the music therapists who were helping everybody enjoy the day. She often commented how she remembers many songs as she was growing up especially from the era of the Beatles and Elvis Presley and some of the other songs from the Eagles which she listened to when one of the music therapists played a song on his guitar. This lady was very, very happy. She enjoyed every aspect of the music therapy session and had never played the bongo drums in her life. A large format black frame holds a white mat inside which is a colour photograph. The colour photograph is a close-up portrait image of Tambourine Jean, the lady I nicknamed for the day at Spencer House. She has a pink flower in her hair, she has gold rim glasses and a face mask that's pulled down slightly under her bottom lip. She has a, be a beige scarf wrapped around her neck and she's gazing intently towards a musician who is playing her favourite song. Throughout the session, she had a tambourine, which she used as percussion to every single song that was played. But when this song came on, the tambourine was placed on the table and her gaze was fixed on the guy playing the acoustic guitar and everything else faded away. And she listened intently for four minutes to a song from a past era that took her straight back to her childhood. A large format black frame holds a white mat, inside which is a colour photograph. The colour photograph is a close portrait image of an elderly gentleman with white hair, white moustache and black rimmed glasses. He's wearing a small green checkered shirt with a white t-shirt underneath. The collar is buttoned down and the gentleman is gazing across the room listening to the music. I spent quite a lot of time with this gentleman. He didn't say much. He didn't have to. 
He had his dignity, he knew who he was, and he was pleased to be a part of the day. As the music changed from rock and roll to the Beatles, to the Eagles, to Rush, he knew many of the songs and nodded his head or would play his tambourine in time with the music. He sat quietly at the back, only ever said three words, but totally enjoyed the experience. It was a pleasure to meet him and hopefully I'll meet him again one day.